So here we got LK Coffee. Got five minute candles. Here we are Friday, the 22nd of May. So I do a quick pullback. You see why I'm here, man. Extreme panic. Closed yesterday around 2-ish. Dumped right away. I saw it 4 a.m. Eastern. Hit around 190. Held up for a little. But then right here, the bell. Complete crush. Crushed the shorts. Crushed the, uh, the price all the way down to 160 for a little bit where it hung out and tried to fight that 150. Ultimately dumped all the way down to, uh, see here, the low of day 133. That'd be fun to do a, a live. Uh, my ties are over here. See, we got 12 minutes left of the day. So this is what happened in the, in the morning. They dropped an article about how they're coming after the assets of the the people that took the loan. So it's a bad, uh, bad sentiment top of all the other problems in the delisting news and worries and so and the market's been down all day pretty much just look at that it's behind it's just finally rallying a little bit at the end which is helping it here as we watch a level two look at it, it's pretty the tape is pretty green and it is getting slapped so I'm figuring shorts are trying to force it down I wouldn't be surprised if we see a dump here the last 10 minutes of the day, but it'd be nice to push and touch, touch this 150, which is going to be the next uh, point of resistance. We only got it says 149 here. VWAP's at 153. And the, the 50 SMA is all the way down to 141. We were above it, and now we're a little bit underneath it trying to rub, bust, bust over it this uh, 200 SMA is all the way at 180 I mean you gotta think this was halted pushed all the way to 360 is now 140 in three days they don't even have it you gotta go to the daily Let's see so the reason I'm making this is I had previously had made a video and I'm not, none of it's relevant because it was before the haul. Everything has changed now. So you know, I had gap down, I started playing around here in the fours and fives. And after this haul, everyone was, was, was ready to get out of here, free their money up to trade other, other things. That would sucked. So we go back to, to the day. So see here we are pushing the 141 bits are broken up and everything. But what I noticed is this a relentless amount of uh, balls getting thrown on the ask around 143, 144. And that's what you can see right here. No resistance forming at 143. So it's gonna be pretty crucial if I'm here. Just show you that. No, that's the wrong one. Guideline. Level. I'm calling 165. There's 800,000 shares right there from Ryan Master. He's down so much. I want to be surprised he's trying to get out around there. So it's always worth noting when you're in these stocks with the crowd. Who's the crowd and who's following who? So. Let's wait the 15. So just pretty much been blood all day. And then finally left bottoming out, it looks like possibly. But if we see a dump here, this last nine minutes, who knows? We might be testing one in after hours or, or on Tuesday yeah, since Monday's closed.
But look, there you go. They just took the 140 out. And it's worth the knowledge. When I looked, the, the, there's about like 10 different sites. So the average would be around 80 to 90 million shares float here. So right here, 91 million volume. So potentially they could have took the, everybody's shares in the public today. Made them sell because everyone would have been yesterday at an average of two up. So anyone with big money would be down very significantly unless they're just fighting and averaging, which would be dumb. It's a very tight risk management play. So here we go. They're going to start throwing walls on the 140 we see here. They're slapping the bid or dumping on the bid. See, you see it's getting red. But look, here we go, 66,000 shares. That's a pretty big amount. On top of these two twelves, that's twenty-four. So you gotta figure what that's a hundred thousand, that's hundred and thirty grand right there. Hundred and forty grand. So someone's buying, someone's interested in here. I've seen a lot of people on here on uh posting about loading in the one thirties. So you got it's worth noting a lot of people buy here and they're gonna be looking out just on that 150. We'll push it up 10 percent, 10 cents, which is almost 10 percent, 8 percent. People will start selling, especially if they've been just sitting here all day and uh, impatient and they're day traders. So that's when. Uh, so right now, I forgot to say I bought in it uh, this morning at 190 and it's selling at 191 a little later as it started dumping. I should have sold it too on the push. I just thought it would keep going. And this hit me too fast right here. But uh, I broke even. And then I got in at 160 and took like a three cent loss. Got back in at 130 and I sold over here like 145 ish, I think. And now I'm just waiting. I think it might dump in today. And if it doesn't, that's all right. I'm not going to miss much. And even if it pushed to 150, I'm not loading it. Tuesday come around. I don't know what Tuesday is gonna, what's gonna happen Tuesday morning where people are rushing to buy this, or it's gonna be the same thing. Thirty percent drop. Another thing, I think the spy is too high at two ninety five. So red days aren't gonna help any stock really much, pretty much. Especially without a catalyst, a positive one. My first target. So I'm gonna be looking for a 136 dollar low there if it can hold here. If 140 holds, I might just load at 141. For the tight stop watch for after hours if there's a little bump, but say this 140 holds. It starts pushing the 150 is my first target. Expecting that dump around 165, so I'd say sell around 160 ish to 164. If you break that, it was 180 is going to be the next price target. And then from there, probably uh, 190 ish to 2. There's going to be my price targets short term, and then. see some uh, 220 after that maybe in between it I'd say probably around two 210 I'd get out I'd put a stop loss if it got a pat got past 210 I wouldn't to sit there and let it drop on me anymore past that Shoot for the 220, it breaks that. I mean, there shouldn't be much resistance all the way to 250 ish. So I can go beyond that. So I want to set any unrealistic expectations for the short term with all the 
with all the news. On the downside, you got you don't want to lose more than two or three percent on something that's moving this fast. So if you're into a mental stop, you gotta be finger on the trigger on that market sale. Or have your stopping religiously. I'd say on a play like this. At any moment, say it's this 136, for example, it's 136, and everyone has their stop loss around you know, 130, 133, 134, and it just goes right through it. Bam, you're down. You could ruin your thing, you could ruin your week, you could ruin your whole month. Who knows what could happen? This is not worth the risk. Oh. That's the most crucial things. Your chain is volatile. Panic plays. So here we go. It's 12.58. Oh, yeah, I got the time right here. Tripping. It's 12. Here we go. 3.58. One minute and 36. 30 seconds left. Look at here comes the dump. But people are loading it. Look at this 183,000 shares on the bid on one order. That looks good. Thirty seconds. One forty one. Seventy three grand. I mean seventy three thousand shares at one forty two. Fifteen seconds. Thirty seconds. One forty two. Fifteen seconds. So look at that one forty forty hell. And ask actually got slapped into that little bail here. Even though we're thirty percent down. It's worth noting we've been down thirty percent three days straight pretty much and look at this like, as usual after the short attack look at that dump on the bid we got 372,000 shares 602 plus 623 so, so that's the, the big time short right there so Probably gonna be pretty volatile after hours, but that's all I pretty much need to see here. I mean, what's interesting also noting is look how high, I mean, how long the MACD held a bullish, held held bullish, bullishly above the line, pretty much the whole day. So I say it's probably uh, possibly invest big hedge funds shorting this big. From where it was at at 360 push, possibly uh, loading down low for a uh, bounce back and stealing the shares from retail down here. <laughs> At the same time, this 135, I would not call it a concrete support, even though it held today, as we've seen what it's done. So I'd risk that stop loss area. I could play 134, but. Cause I mean, you don't want to be on the bot in the middle of that. Maybe even 135 if it hits, and see if the support holds. Get out of support. Who cares? So maybe load around like 136, 137. Let me rinse a sense or two. That's the key on this play, to me. Cause all it takes is catching one upside, if you, as opposed to maybe even three or four. Stop losses if you're doing that method. You'll make a lot of money. So I'm risking maybe 134, 135, 133. You pick.
first target, 150 ish, second target, 160, we'll say three ish, and 180, two, and 220. It drops under this uh, 135 and looks bad. I won't, I'll wait until and see if it looks how it reacts to the 125 and if it doesn't look solid there I'll wait all the way to one and I'll still be hesitant to load because shorts really might try to break under one but that's about it it's been long I hope I didn't just ramble I hope somebody